Hello, my name is Kieran Price, aka Kieran the Barber, on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm here today to show you all how to do the perfect pomp, in my opinion. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my um, clipper work all the way around. I'm not going to be even touching my scissors. For that, I'm going to be using my Andis Ionicas and my Andis US Pros. Um, if you find this video at all helpful or you liked it, just give me a like, please subscribe, um, comment, and I will try my hardest to get back to every single one of you. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Hi guys, um, welcome to my video on the perfect pump. What I'm doing right now is I'm spraying um, Janine, my model. I'm spraying his hair into position just to prepare myself. What I'm going to be using is we're going to be doing a 0.5 grade, um, fading it all the way up. So it's not going to be skin, it's just going to be a 0.5. But if you're combing your hair into shape to get it ready to do whatever it needs to be, it, one, it gets it out of the way of where you're fading, and two, you can sort of see where it wants to go already. So as I said, I'm going to be using my, um, my US Pros. Um, flick them all the way down so they go on the 0.5 grade. Then we can make a start on that. Right, so if you get your client to put his head slightly down so what that does is it just smooths out the neck slightly what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I come up with my 0.5 I just ever so slightly flick out just to prepare myself ready for fading because if you go in like that you have no real room but you do have room to fade it's no problem but give yourself a head start already so if you do that C flick in motion it already gives you that head start to start fading out with. I abs I've been using my US Pros now for about seven months and I absolutely love them. I think a lot of clippers have gone very, uh, you, you lot got, might disagree with me, but the clippers have gone very hairdressery, they've gone very, a bit too light, um, all these new um, cordless clippers and stuff like that, they're very, very light, um, they don't feel like you're actually using anything in your hands. I like to, when I'm cutting hair, I like to feel like I'm cutting hair, I like to feel like I've had a day's work in my arms. So, something a little bit more clunky, a little bit more heavy. It's not, these aren't heavy heavy, they're just, they're just nice, they feel nice in your hands. And they get through the hair. You don't really need to go over it. I mean, I've had these since day one, I oil them every three haircuts. And they cut exactly like they cut from day one. They're absolutely brilliant. They, these are my favourite tool. These are my workhorse. I use them day in, day out. I don't use any other clipper. So what I'm doing, I'm getting a very, very light, just sort of oval. I'm not going straight. I'm going just under slightly. And then coming up so I can just go around the ear. So with my 0.5, and what I usually do is with this, I take it just to the point of the hair where the hair V's into that point here. So I'll take that up. Just to the edge of that line and then I will come at an angle down just around the ears. Okay, so now still with my US Pros, I've got my number one grade on. Just put them to a number one. And just C motion that.
as you can see that is pretty much faded that straight out Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my my white handless clipper comb um, because when you use your white handless clipper comb to go over dark hair, as you see, you can clearly see that's a lot more visible as if you were to get your black clipper comb for more sort of um, grey hair, white hair. You see, that's a lot more. To me, that's not as visible. You want to make your job as easy as possible, and <laughs> I have a pink one. It's I'd say it's not mine, but it is mine, but I think it's just for ladies or men who like men. I, I don't know. <laughs> what can I say about that? <laughs> I, I have one, but I also have a wife and a child who I do love very much. Um, so here we go, right? So use your white comb. I don't know, pink hair, you might get someone with blue. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got to carry on with this pink comb because I don't understand it. Right, white, white comb. Straight in there, pull it out slowly. I hope when everyone is watching this video, um, feel free to tag me on your Instagram pictures. If, if this video has helped at all, tag me, let me know, I'd, I'd love to see the haircuts, I love haircuts, so just honestly tag me in any of your haircuts because I love seeing good barbers, I, lo I love seeing just different, different ideas, different techniques. As you can see I'm leaving up here, I'm leaving this back bit quite heavy because what I want that to do is I want that to come into a pomp and a slight DA at the back here. A DA, if you, if you don't know what a DA is, um, it's a duck's ass. That's what a DA is. So you want it to come and look like it is a duck's ass over water. Right guys, what I'm going to use now is I'm going to use my um, Andis Ionicas um, to shear the top or clip at the top and I'm going to use my Andis comb. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little finger just underneath, two fingers on top and then my point finger back over the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is my clipper is going to be upside down um, and turn on and um, this is my way of doing it, it might not be your way of doing it. Guys, if you have any other ways of doing it, please let me know because I'm new to this as, as, as so many others. So I'd love, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Right, so what I do now is I grab my comb, I comb the hair, I comb the hair from left to right. Take a section, I'm taking off about an inch of jazz there.
Right, so now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Andy Slimline Pros to line all the way out. These get really, really close. I'm closer than a lot of the other little clippers that I've used in the past. And they're really light. And they're cordless. So there's no like breaking wires or anything like that. The only issue would be the battery, but I've had them seven months. And as long as you're looking after them and you're keeping them clean, you don't get much of a better edge than that really. Well, that obviously be a cut for it. Right, so now we've finished the cut, we're going to get on to styling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of, bit of Baldi's, it tastes salty, sea spray. Um, whilst wet. <laughs> Don't get me if it adds, does it taste salty? No, it Do doesn't taste salty, but it's very nice and fresh. Very nice and fresh. So I'm just going to put a bit of that and mix it up in my hands. It's Smells coconutty, obviously there's no smell of vision. Just smell nice. And then onto the blow dryer. Now for the last few years. Oh shit, keep the thing. For the <laughs> Let me start again. Now for the last few years I've used a Denman Classic, but today I'm gonna to be using a it is a Denman, but it's just a wider tooth one. Only because Jan's hair is quite thick and it gets through it quite easily instead of ripping his hair out. Also, using my Andis Professional 1875 hairdryer. Now, what I do is I start from back and then make our way to the front. So, if you comb it over like a Come it over like an old man with a bald head. That's how you come it over.
Alright guys, now I'm going to be using some of Baldi's sticky as um, product in Jani's hair. This stuff is a shaper and it is awesome. Right, so while doing this I'll properly rub it into my hands. Um, a little a good friend of mine, John from Barber Town Works, taught me that because what I used to do was I used to just run it straight through. Um, now even though that does work, start from the back, put all the product into the back first and then come back round into the front. They see Johnny's hair is mad thick. So you just got to run that product, making sure you get it all through. Now what I do use, I will use a big wide tooth comb. Um, just to emphasize the pump. As you can see around the back, it's got the nice duck's ass in the back. Just come back round and if I just, if I can take the camera, you can just see that goes all the way through the back and the middle, like a real traditional pump. It's not, a, if, you, if you blow dry the hair right, it doesn't take a lot of work to style it. Right guys, that is my version of the perfect pump. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, please leave me all the all comments, good, negative, whatever you've got to say. I will try and respond. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my video. Um, thank you for watching.